Hello everyone, this is Ankit Sharma from the Plus Add-ons and in this video I will show you how you can install and set up the Plus Add-ons for Gutenberg free as well as the pro version with a quick dashboard onboarding. But before we begin, thank you so much for choosing the Plus Add-ons for Gutenberg and welcome to the Plus family. So let's start by installing the free version first. For that, we need to go to plugins and then click on add new. And here we will search for the plus add-ons for Gutenberg. And this is the plugin that we need to install Gutenberg blocks plus add-ons for Gutenberg block editor by Posey Myth. So let's go ahead and click on install now and then click on activate. So now we have successfully installed and activated the free version of this plugin. And with that, we can see a new option added here. It says the plus settings. Once we click on that, we have this dashboard of this plus add-ons for Gutenberg. And once you go in the plus block section, here you can choose all the free blocks to build your WordPress website. And you can go ahead and turn on or off whichever block you want to include or exclude from your WordPress project. And with all these free blocks, you can build some amazing WordPress websites. But let's go ahead and supercharge this WordPress setup and let's go ahead and install the pro version of this plus add-ons for Gutenberg. And for that, we need to go to our website theplusblocks.com and here we have a login option on the top. We click on that and here we are in the Posey Mid Store dashboard and right now we are in the download section and here we can see the plus add-ons for block editor which is the plus add-ons for Gutenberg and here we have the download button it's for version 1.2.2 which is the latest and the most stable version available. And if in case you want to try our previous versions, you can go ahead and choose any of the previous versions from here. But we always recommend that you go with the latest as well as the most stable version which is available here. So let's go ahead and download this. So once we click on this button, it will start downloading the zip file for this pro plugin. And once the download is done, we come back in our WordPress backend. We again go to plugins, then click on add new. And this time we will click on upload plugins and then we just need to select the zip file that we have just downloaded. So let's go ahead and click on choose file and here is the zip file that we have just downloaded. So let's click on open and then click on install now. And once the installation is done, we just need to click on activate plugin. So now we have successfully installed the pro version of this plugin. So let's go ahead and activate this with our license key. And for the same, we have a notification on the top. It says activate the plus add-ons for block editor. And to enter our license key, we just need to click on this button here. So let's click on this and it will take us back in the plus settings in the activation tab or you can directly go in the plus settings and then click on activate and it will bring you back in the same activate section. And here we have the option to enter the license key and in order to get the license key, we need to come back in our Posey Mid Store dashboard. And once we go in the dashboard, here is the plus add-ons for blog editor and below that we have the license key. So let's go ahead and copy this key from here and then we come back in our WordPress backend and here we paste our license key. And once we click on activate and if we see that green check mark, it means that we have successfully activated our pro plugin. So now we can go back in plus blocks and now we have all the free as well as the premium blocks that we can use to build our WordPress website. And now if we go in the welcome or home tab and here at the very bottom, we see the system requirements. Here we can see the PHP version, the memory limit, which is right now 512 MB, which is good enough for most of the Gutenberg websites. And the best way to optimize this is by disabling or turning off all the Gutenberg blocks, which you are not using in your WordPress project. And for that, once you are done with your project, you can come back in the plus block section here. And here you can turn off all the blocks, which you are not using in your project. And this will help you get a great optimized Gutenberg backend experience. Experience. And now in order to optimize this WordPress setup, we need to go to extra options. And here we have various options available. Like if you are not using Google Maps on this WordPress website, then you can go ahead and turn it off. And if you're not using Google Fonts, so you can disable that. 
and if in case you are not using font awesome then you can also disable that so all these options can help you get the best out of your wordpress setup along with that if we go in the custom section we can enter the custom css as well as custom javascript in our wordpress project so when we go in the performance tab we have the cache manager here so while building your website if you see that the changes that you are making in the back end are not reflecting in the front end or if you see that there is a visual issue in the blocks then you can go ahead and use the purge cache option now the best part about this cache mechanism is that it reduces the number of requests by combining and minifying them dynamically into CSS and JavaScript file for individual pages. And below that the regenerate button is used when you move your website from staging to live or if in case you are doing a domain migration from one to another. Now this regenerates the CSS and JavaScript assets with your new domain name and fixes front-end domain issues. Along with that, if you are building this website for a client, then in this white label section, you will find all the options that you need to white label this WordPress setup for your clients. And if you need any help at any point of time, then feel free to raise a ticket at our technical help desk and we will be more than happy to help you out. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for product related updates and helpful tutorials. Along with that, make sure you join our plus powered community on Facebook to meet more like minded people. And we are also active on Twitter as well as on Instagram. So make sure you follow us there as well.